Hey y'all, welcome to another Shadowlands Dungeon Guide. This one's going to be focused on the other side, and luckily, once again, this one's going to have a summoning stone outside of it, so you're not going to have to run. As always, this is in chronological order, so you can pause and play as you go throughout the dungeon. The first trash mobs I wanted to include are these Death Speakers. They're going to have this curled AoE, as well as a frontal cone that has a knockback. As you can see here, the Warlock got hit, and you will go flying off the side. On a lot of the Death Speaker packs, you're going to run into these Risen Warlords. They just have a charge where once they get there, they do a Whirlwind. Make sure you're not on a ramp, that way you have ample room to run around. Right after them, you're gonna make your way towards the car. On these packs, I highly recommend pulling them back to where we are right now because they drop these giant puddles on the ground. And once you kill these mobs, they actually spawn a ghost. They will absolutely clap you if you get hit by them. If you didn't leave yourself enough room, you're gonna end up either stuck getting hit by them or backtracking and having to just wait for these to despawn like this. It's a lot easier to give yourself room and go forward than it is to kind of just have to run around in circles. Now let's go ahead and focus on Hakkar. There's four things you watch out for. The sons of Hakkar that spawn are going to fixate. Make sure you're killing them outside of the melee group. They do leave a puddle. Throughout the encounter he's going to use a blood barrier which is based upon the amount of damage taken by the party. As well as he's going to cast corrupted blood on players that does spread if you're within seven yards. His last thing is Blood Barrage, just watch out for the Swirlies. We're going to go ahead and move on to these big enraged spirits. You're going to see these on your way to each tier of this dungeon. Throughout the fight, they're going to spawn these crazy ads pretty much everywhere. Make sure you're not stuck on a ramp where you're going to just be eating all of these at once. Let's go ahead and talk about the trash on the way to the Mana Storms real quick. The dogs will cast this on people. It does an AoE stun, so make sure you're running these out of your group. As well as you're going to run into the robots that do Haywire. This will absolutely wipe your group on higher keys. Make sure you're somewhere that you can LOS all of the damage for this. And once again, here we are dealing with the Mana Storms. You're really going to want to just position yourself right between these crystals. That way it's not hitting the boss. Throughout the encounter, the bosses are going to cast Laser Extreme and Shadow Fury. They can actually be hit by their own moves, so move to them if possible. On the second part of the fight, you're going to be dealing with Maleficent. Throughout the encounter, she's going to have these little bombs that run out. Once they get into place, you can actually disarm them. That way you're not taking party-wide damage. She's also going to be casting Buzzsaw on your tank. So make sure they have defensives or you're ready to heal them to avoid that damage. Now let's go ahead and hop directly into Dealer's Iaxa. Throughout the encounter, she's going to cast a bomb on an individual player. Make sure you're hopping in this whirly so that it knocks you in the air and it explodes above your party. You're also going to be seeing her cast Blast Wave on the tank. Make sure you're not standing behind them to avoid that. At some point, she's going to use Explosive Contrivance that just does damage to everybody on the ground. So the whole party should be running and jumping in this whirly at the last second. That way, no one's taking damage because you're all in there. Last but not least, we're going to move on to Muzala. His main ability is a three-part move where he casts on either the left, the right, or right in the front. So you're just going to want to rotate and move out of this as you go. You can see the left, the right, and the middle cast in this order right here. So right at the end, that green one, you just move back away from him if you're the tank. Eventually he's going to cast Shattered Reality where portals spawn. If you've already predetermined this, it makes life a lot easier. If you don't get off that platform in time, you will get one shot. Once you're here, you just fight an ad and then go ahead and click a totem behind you. Each totem corresponds to 20% of the boss health. We've already done this a few times ourselves, so we knew that we could kill all five in one go. More than likely, you're going to end up with two phases and do this twice. If you've liked the video, guys, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button, leave some feedback, and if there's anything y'all would like to see, please leave it in the comments.